boss I did in this playthrough. And I managed to always take down bosses with it, so I'm hoping this is the case with this one. Okay, I see now, I see now. I see. Gotta wait right when he's about to land and then... Uh, go. Or fourth attempt, not bad, yeah. Whew! Just like you said, Sir Twee, within oh, five. <laughs> God damn. It was mainly that freaking slam that would get me off guard. Once I learned that you just had to time it right and just dodge through it, then not too bad. Not too bad. You gotta use everything at your disposal, everything that you've gained throughout the, uh, your time playing. So the relics, your healing if you're a medic. And if you have a dog like me with the handler class, you could also do uh, your damage reduction by making your dog help. So you use all of that together, it's not that bad. And like I said, this freaking weapon mod, Stargazer, it's my tried and true. It's always, always coming in to help me. Every time I pop it out, boss ain't got no chance, man. And uh, Sir Twiggy said, GG, hey, appreciate it, man, appreciate it. Gave me a little bit of motivation when you said when you said uh, first try or five or five tries at most. I was like hell yeah, I'm like I got to stick to that. Cause I also thought I was gonna get in that first try, but freaking slam. And Saggy said this is a cool looking boss and GG's. Hey, thank you, Sag. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yeah, it, it's pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. Like they did a good job. They did a good job. They didn't just outright like copy Eldering, for example, in the in the design of their bosses. They got inspiration from them, but they made sure that it fit the style, the art direction, the style that they went with this game in particular. Which is like a post-apocalyptic type setting, and then each world also has its own uh, flair and uniqueness to them. And those boss, and each boss reflects that too. Like you'll know, you'll know, okay, that boss is from this world. What the fuck? Alright, let me, let me rest here. And Sir Twiggy said, I'm excited for the next boss. I think they'll be your bane for a while. If it's anything like the Guardian dude from uh, Nehrud, I know I know exactly what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Right, let's do this one. Shade skin. Yeah, there we go. Oh, what the fuck? What is that? What is that? It's like burying them down. What is this thing? What is that? That's, that's, I don't like that. You said so Trigger it's a really standard fight, but it's just demanding of you executing correctly. Ah, alright. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. It's those type of fights that when you look back at them, they're not necessarily hard. They just make you do everything right on time, right? Like timing things. Yeah, I think I know what you mean. Whoa. What the hell? This is what I'm talking about. Like they did a really good job. Every single enemy type, even down to the NPCs or the elite characters, are Freaking unique. And who would have thought of that? 
the hell? This guy's stuck a little bit. Yeah, he got a little bit stuck. I could definitely see how someone who hasn't played any Souls game in their life though would have a trouble with this game. Like no lie. Cause the only reason I didn't really have too much trouble with these guys is because I know from Souls games from experience with uh, plays at least one or two in the past is that dodging saves your life always. You just gotta time it. If you know how to time it, it'll almost always save you. And uh, so Twiggy said, uh, exactly, yeah, not bad the more you play. Remnant 2 is great, such a high quality bar for a smaller dev team, for real. That's what. That's why I was so surprised, man. Like, honestly, like, they made me realize that you, should, you shouldn't doubt uh, a smaller uh, dev team. Just because they don't have thousands upon thousands of employees, right, to help them make their games, doesn't mean that they won't be able to release a great game. These guys are proof of that, but they, they did a really good job. They took what already worked with their first game, even though I didn't play it, but I've been seeing a lot of reviews about this game saying that. That they took what they what they had already introduced in the first game and they just made it better. Which is, I mean, that's what you should do, right? If you make a sequel to a game, you should just make it the same but better. Like, work, work upon, uh, build upon what you already have. The foundation, essentially. Whereas some other developers sometimes for their sequels they try to like change things up way too much and they just end up alienating the core fan base that supported them to begin with. Oh, what the hell? Let me just pop up from the ground. I notice in this For game now. you don't want to just rush out. Nehru taught me that the world of Nehru. It's the worst when it comes to that. You 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 want to just keep on going, pushing, pushing, pushing. But then when you least know it, you have like a ton of enemies behind you as well. So I just take it like little, little section by little section, little by little. And so tell you said you could play the first, by the way, and it plays a little different, but. Equally good graphics and polished. Hey, I'll probably do that. I mean, I'll probably do that. Why not? I'm gonna go give Starfield a try, like I said. But if me, if me and chat and the viewers, uh, after like a week or two, we're just not vibing with it. I mean, why not? That would be like a good game to probably jump into. I could also do the other secrets of uh, of each world that I haven't unlocked too. Like, this game has so much replayability. It's pretty crazy. Take one time. Don't think that burrow? Oh, that's my dog, man. Fuck, that shit's screaming? 
reload, reload, reload. Come on, come on, come on. Fire or corruption, whatever the fuck that is. God damn. Oh, it's so annoying. 